Lie to the bank, lie to the bank, they don't know my rank. Smoking the gas, got the gas to fill up a tank. Yo hello, it's Reva here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a dripping text in After Effects. Uh, so yeah, let's get uh, right into this. So you will start off by adding a text layer. So you make your text here. I'm going to name it drip. <laughs> and now when you're, you're done with your text settings, you're going to scroll up to come to align and then press this align horizontally and then align vertically so it becomes centered this text and from here we are going to add a effect called cc smear and here you get two points uh one point where the dri drip i guess <laughs> uh is going to start from and one which is where it's going to end so i'm going to press this button here and then choose where I want it to start. So I want this P to rip here. So I'm going to press there. And then and then where it's going to end. So you can just drag this, drag it down. And then from here, we're going to keyframe the reach setting here. And what this does is basically make the whole rip effect. You guys can see. You can start off by changing this to zero. Keyframe reach. Then go to the ending of your composition. And then increase the reach. So you can see the animation here. So now it looks something like this. You just increase the reach if you want it to drip faster essentially. Yeah, something like that. And uh, now we can also, you know, select the smear um, effect here and then press Ctrl D. So now you can uh, add it once more. So now we can change the from to maybe here and then the to down here. And you guys can see it's pretty synced now. So you could actually press the clock here. So you deactivate the keyframes. And then go to one second in your composition. Press the clock here again. And be sure uh, that, it, that it is uh, zero here. And then go to the ending. And then increase the reach. Something like that. So now it looks something like this. Dripping all the time. I actually want to increase this a little bit more. Do this one more time. So you press Ctrl D again. And then here I'm going to try to make the D drip here. And then end here. Now I'm going to increase the radius here. So it looks something like that. No. Pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. I'm also going to change the keyframing here. It's going to start at zero. End over there. So I think this looks pretty pretty clean and now you can press ctrl d on the whole text layer drag it down and then as i like to do change the setting go to the stroke one and yeah come to white here then you drag this down by pressing the arrow key down about six times one two three four five six and you can do this again one two three four five six one more time one two three four five six so now the text looks insanely clean in my opinion and uh, now to spice it up a little bit more, we're going to use overlays. So I'm going to add the overlay I made. Uh, and then I'm going to pre-compose all of the drip text. And then and then choose uh, no mat here to the drip. And so it's just showing in here. And then I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y and then add Colorama. And change up the settings here a little bit. I thought this looked insanely clean with the HUE setting here. And then you can change the color here to something like orange looked insanely nice. And then from here, add cartoon, change up the settings a little bit. So it looks something like this. And then add a glow. And I'm going to use deep glow. I know the title said no plugins, but uh, I used uh, deep glow here, which is a plugin. But you can just use the normal glow in After Effects to make the same look. Smooth blending, increase the radius a little bit. Decrease the exposure a little bit. Yeah, I think this looks insanely clean. So yeah, this is how you made the drip text and I thought this looked amazing to be honest. And uh, yeah, I wanted to wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, give me some new ideas on tutorials you want me to make. You can DM me on Instagram or Twitter to send, uh, send me your ideas. Uh, or write in the YouTube uh, comments. But yeah. Uh, like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.